Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And for today's video, I am just working on a drawing in my sketchbook while chatting to you all. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm wanting to kind of revamp my channel in a way. I feel like my content over the past couple of months has just been, I don't know, too much the same in a way. Basically, I've just been uploading like time-lapse videos and I don't know if that's like enough for you all or enough with, you know, how YouTube is changing and how people watch content and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and not only that, but I've just felt very limited with my own content, I think, because I generally stick to time-lapse videos. That means I have to make a new piece of art every single week and I don't get the entire week to work on YouTube videos. I have other things to do and when you take into account editing as well, I really don't have that much time to create art and I've just been feeling stuck and I feel the pressure of having to make, you know, something worthy of showing you guys um, every single week and it can be quite exhausting. I, I don't feel like I can work on something long term, which I don't like. I would love to be able to work on a painting for like a couple of weeks or even months, you know what I mean? Um, so I feel like these changes could definitely help with how I've been feeling as well as possibly improving my own content on YouTube. So I thought I would tell you guys my ideas basically for what kind of videos I'm thinking of making. So I will always make time-lapse videos. They might change here and there, but I still like making them. I love showing that process, but it just won't be all of the time or every single week. So my first idea is to upload artist vlogs on my art channel. If you don't know, I do have a vlogging channel separate to this one that is basically just me vlogging my week. Um, and a lot of it is not art related. Sometimes I will talk about art in those videos, but I almost feel like I might be boring um, the people watching them. So vlogging it on my art channel, I feel like I can go into a lot more depth with those discussions and it's not going to bore anyone or hopefully, hopefully it doesn't bore anyone. Um, and then I can still do my weekly vlogs on my other channel. I will just cut out basically most of the art related stuff and I can film, you know, more like other things that I would film, you know, mainly my cats and, and the food that I eat. Let's be real here. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to start filming the artist vlogs and it's something that's really easy for me to incorporate because I already film my week, you know, I just need to separate the art part from the rest of the week and that means it's another video for you guys and it also means I can go more in depth with talking about my work and showing you guys the behind the scenes. So I'm very excited to start that. Um, and I've got a couple of other ideas as well, some that I'm not sure of. One that I really do like the idea of is filming a monthly sketchbook tour. And I'm excited for this um, for two reasons. One, because it gives you guys a very different video um, compared to what I normally film. And two is because I am terrible at drawing in a sketchbook. I basically don't do it and I feel like I should. Not that I think every artist should do it, but I think for me personally it will be really beneficial um, just because being on YouTube and filming my art, I feel like every time I make something I have to film it and if I don't then it's a waste and I really don't like that mindset, but, it, but it's how I think and I think if I'm drawing in a sketchbook without the cameras filming it. It takes off a lot of the pressure. 
I don't feel like some like you know someone's watching or I have to do something a certain way I can kind of just loosen up a bit and then at the end of the month I can show you all what I've drawn and I don't even have to show everything but I really like that idea and I think it is just going to be very beneficial to me especially because I film basically everything that I make and you know I think it is good to you know have some of my art making off camera um, and I just think it will help me overall so that is another idea um, I will need to get my hands on a sketchbook or I mean I, I'm sure I've got some that are mostly empty I always feel the need to get like a brand new sketchbook and have it empty um, I don't know anyway um, some of my other ideas include critique videos whether it be me critiquing my own work somebody else's work or your work um, I feel like that could be interesting not that I think that I'm some kind of super professional or anything but I feel like that would just bring a completely different um, type of video to my channel and my other idea was to make kind of short videos of specific things I'm working on so for example if I'm working on a really large painting and it's going to take months for me to actually, you know, upload a video for that, instead of kind of just waiting that entire time, I could almost show snippets for creating certain things. So for example, if I'm, say, painting a detailed flower, I could upload a video of just painting that flower and then another part could be just painting the face or an eye or something and then once the painting is finished then I can upload the entire piece but that way you get kind of like little bits here and there and they could be a bit slower and I could be kind of more so explaining the process behind that specific part because in the end video it's probably going to be very quick and I wouldn't be able to cover everything so that's another idea that I'm kind of toying with and of course I will upload my normal um, time-lapse videos and other things like you know art supply hauls but something like that is not something that I can do all the time because that costs money and I can't just constantly buy art supplies so there's definitely some videos that you know I can't do all the time um, but those are my ideas I would love to know your thoughts on them what videos are you looking forward to do you like the sound of any of them I would love to hear your feedback in the comments even if you don't like the ideas please let me know um, because I really don't want to stop posting on YouTube I just I haven't been posting lately you may have noticed that um, I just haven't been feeling great about it and I think with these videos it'll help you know it'll help me but it'll also help my channel hopefully um, even though it has been not doing the best for like the past year and a half at least new videos old videos have been doing you know pretty well it's just my newer ones which just seem to not get any views so hopefully um, this one gets some views let me know if you made it to the end of the video um, leave your thoughts in the comments and that is going to be all from me today so thank you for watching and i will see you all next time for my first artist vlog which i'm very excited to show you all